What are you doing? <laughs> you and you will have to stay tuned for our land loving segment to find out. Come on, the mic is on. <laughs> Hey, the mic is on, isn't mic it? Is on. Yes, happy to have you here for our second episode of our studio show. Welcome back. Yes, our show is all about having fun with travel, cruise, getting to know us, all that. Fun, fun stuff. <laughs> Typically right now we would have our mascot uh, little segment, but we're going to save that because it's connected with our Len Lubin segment. So that will come so, a little bit later. A little bit of a, you need to tune in to our Len Lubin to see the mascot kind for of this connected show. connected them for this time. So uh, we have kind of a fun show planned today. Um, we've been talking quite a bit about what we want to do for our fall travel schedule. And we keep going back and forth saying, well, we like this about this ship. We like this about this cruise line. And so Chris kind of had a fun idea. What if we just made our own cruise, our own cruise ship? <laughs> Why not? I'm all for it. So... Today, yep. we each have 10 things. We wanted to limit it to 10 things. Yeah, because we could probably go on for a really long exactly. time. So we had to limit it. <laughs> 10 things that we want to see on our perfect cruise ship. Exactly. So 10 things. We even came up with a name for each of our ships. And like a godmother as well. Or exactly. God, God person. God person. So Chris will build his ship first. He's going to tell you 10 things that would be his perfect. Then we'll... Probably do our land love it, and then I'm going to build my perfect ship. Yes. And I'm just so, looking at my notes. Sorry. Yes. We're going to have to. <laughs> in the shot. They're just going to stay oh, in the shot. Oh, right. and another thing is I don't know anything about Chris's ship. Oh, that's ship, right. And yes. he doesn't know anything about mine. So, so we may have some that are the same. We may be like completely different. I, we have no idea. Like, honestly, we don't know each other's. Nope. Yeah. So here's my first thing. And there's a reason behind this being my first thing. Okay. So let me throw up a picture here. I'm looking at the, sorry, I'm looking at the monitor over here. Okay. Nope, that's not it. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Here it is. What is this? Look at that ship. Look at how old that ship. I think that ship is now, is that the Margaritaville? Oh, I, I think know. that's the Margaritaville I now. I love the little, um, like the round bar, like at the top that has all the, um, Windows, that's going to need. Well, funny is you that should you say wanted, that. Is that's that what you my to see? first thing on the list <laughs> is that it's got to have a crow's nest bar crow's nest that bar. were like on these old uh, Royal Caribbean ships. Yeah. There's still, there's still sailing out there. If you can, you, there's one up on the screen there now too. They're still sailing out there, but. Okay. So it is the crow's nest is that round. Okay. So the crow's nest up on the, on the top. Okay. And they're, the reason that I say that because. Um, I love that area for sail away. It's got such a, just a unique view. You can see the, the ship. You kind of feel like you're up away. It feels a little, uh, clubby too, because okay. there's not a lot, not like dance club. Right, right, right. Like you're like a exclusive. Adventure club. Because not many people <laughs> would go up there when we were on the ships. Maybe yeah. they know about it now. I yeah. don't know. Um, but you kind of felt like you were in a special little okay. uh, area up there. I would like that. Yeah. I loved that now, was yes. Have we ever been on a ship with one of these? Yes, we oh, have. I don't remember that. <laughs> we have. Um, it's where I got my where I was introduced to my favorite drink on a cruise ship. Mm. Which Ooh, is that going to tie in later too? It it is. Oh, I'll just no. tell you. I, I'll just tell you. It's a rum runner. Ooh. But the reason, yeah. So how okay. that all tie in will come in a little bit later. We'll circle that around for you. So that is my number one. My okay. number two thing that it must have for sure is the medallion or technology like that. Um, I don't want any. Oh, look at that! I even put in the future. 
Oh my goodness, they're going to embed a chip. You can just embed it. That's how much I like (laughs) that kind of technology. Not having a card with you where you got to just keep pulling out. You just have it on you. Yeah. Um, And you walk around, you get drinks, you get food. They know who you are. They know where you are. They can bring things to you. Love that. Um, When we were on uh, uh, Princess, Princess, Princess we would just walk up to a restaurant, a specialty restaurant. Boom. They knew where or who we, we were. were before we got there and they said good evening mr and mrs johnson so we love that yeah okay so that's number two okay. number three it has to be all inclusive okay um and what i mean by that is all your food your drinks are included really yes Wow. exactly mm. all your coffees everything's included your the tips uh, Yes, everything's included. So you just pay one single price right at the beginning. Um, All the rides, I just threw up the little arm that was on, that's on some of the Royal Caribbean ships. You know, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to have to worry about that. Yeah, right. Yeah. Have me pay just a little bit more up front. Knowing that I'll have. Or since this is a fantasy of what don't have me pay even more (laughs) this is all included at no extra cost it's you (laughs) um so the medallion kind of ties in with that because i think that it would be neat if you had the medallion and you could just walk around and boom you're done i wanted to drink boom that i'm 21 (laughs) because i get i get i get carded (laughs) on ships all the time okay this one kind of moves into specifically me okay for number four the shows on board i enjoy a good show like in the theater in the theater yes and my favorites by far yeah msc oh yes i I want you guys haven't seen our series yet on that but yes that's coming out I want the shows to be designed by the guy who does the MSC, MSC shows ones, yes. because they make no sense. They're just, they just, I, I don't even know what they're doing when they're up there. It makes no sense. They just have on the show or the, the ship we went on. One yep. of the shows just had a, like a big egg that was dancing over in the corner. Yeah. Like it wasn't part of like the... Like it didn't make any sense. They're singing right. about like the jungle and getting married and, and there's an egg it dancing. It made no sense whatsoever and I loved it. I would go <laughs> every the, single show. The costumes were pretty fantastic too. So yes. yeah, there was there were some fun shows. I like that one. All right. So we have so far, I have, uh, well, uh, let's, let's go ahead and go to number five. Sorry. Okay. Let me just go to number five. Okay. What's next? That is... Yeah, searching for Wait, the picture, searching for the picture, and do I have the picture? Oh, yes. Sorry, I'm so sorry. I labeled it a little bit different than what I thought it was going to label. Okay, so what, what I would want to see on there is a huge promenade. Yes. I want to be able to go With, like, out. like, deck chairs there, yes. like, all around. Exactly. Yeah. I want to be able to go out on the wooden promenade deck and enjoy the salty air blowing and whipping by. I don't want those partitions. They're fine. But. You mean, the, like, the solid, like, Yeah, they have those ones. glass partitions they yeah. do to break up the wind. I yeah. want I want it to be dangerous. <laughs> and I go out there, like, I could lose a drink or a. That's or right. my jacket. But it could nice fly and, off. When they're like on the lower deck. And yeah, they don't have those little glass. Yep. You just go out there and sit. And yeah. There's a nice, nice big one right there. I got a picture yeah. of. Yep. Um, I want it to be like. Uh, Titanic. Titanic. <laughs> big. That's what I, I, knew, I want. I, I, want, what I want to be able that. to see all of it. All right. So let me go over the first five. Uh, it needs to have a crow's nest lounge. Yep. Something. The technology like a medallion. All inclusive, MSC shows, yep. <laughs> and lots of places to this see the sea. Fun little ship so far. All right, okay. my next one is personal. All right, let me see. Oops, I gotta go back up. 
All right. This is I want. Oh my goodness. There we go. Can you find it? What is I'm it? searching all around. I'm so sorry. Okay. It's personal. I want dogs on board. I want to cruise wow. with our stashie. There she I is right there. Oh. I want dogs. On... Look at this picture. This is what oh. I think stashie would be doing. That's and awesome. She went on board. I realized that that's a okay. headache for probably the everybody on ship. On the ship, <laughs> yes, because where do you where do they go to the bathroom? In the pool. <laughs> <laughs> but this is the hmm. fantasy of what needs to be on a that, perfect like cruise idea. ship. I want yeah. dogs on board. I want other or at least people's. Our dog. No, no, I want other want people's. Dogs. Okay. okay. I want to meet other people's dogs and pet them and yeah. play with them. I, like I want that. dogs on board. Yeah. All right. My next one, who doesn't want to go under the sea when they are on a ship? Exactly. I want submarines all over. I Isn't want a re- submarine per person on my ship. In reality, we know we can never afford a cruise ship on like that has this. Yeah, because they already exist on some of like the Seaborn and yeah, some of the high- Viking. Yeah. One of the Viking yeah. new ones has a the Octave. Oct- oh, was that Oct- it? Okay, yeah. Oct- I we always uh, forget the name. Something. Yeah. Anyway, that one has as a their expedition ships. Yeah. 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 So yeah. expedition ships, a lot of those have them, but I want them on a regular cruise ship, like just like just like lifeboats, just kind of like da 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 da. Exactly. Just, like, rent it for a couple hours. And, and since and... it's on a cruise ship, they got to have like wheelchair ramps so people wheel down into the into the submarines because I want everybody to go down and How many people enjoy. fit in these submarines? Well, I mean, if I had one for every person, like I said at the beginning, that would be one person submarines. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe I would have to change that. That, that would have to change a little bit. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so I am huge into movies. I love movies. Yes. yes. And I love sitting out on a cruise ship at night watching movies. I we think that's a that. lot of fun. We got a chance um, to watch Star Wars. Star Wars on, the on there. One. Yeah. Exactly. Coming up with some some blankets. We yeah. that. love that. Um, so I want on my perfect cruise ship mm-hmm. a gigantic movie screen okay. out there okay. with actual speakers that work. Oh, that's true. Most because of most of them, they're blaring. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure I know what he said, but yeah. I'm not positive. Yeah. <laughs> In fact, one of the cruises we went on had subtitles because you couldn't understand anything exactly. they were saying. Yeah. Um, I also want... Uh, no, oh my. Yeah, I want theater seating out there. Out on the pool deck? Yep. Okay. They're just gonna roll them out. Uh, no, they'll just they're come. Just they'll come out of the deck. Ooh. It's like the deck opens. Yep. Chair comes up. Deck Theater comes. seating. Wow. You can get your popcorn while you're out there. Buttered popcorn. That should have been on mine. Yep. Oh. So anyway, I I, I love movies, and mine. I could even go into what movies they would do, but I'm not sure everybody on my cruise ship would enjoy the same movies <laughs> I enjoy. <laughs> but you know what? It's a fantasy, so That's I can right. put any movie I want. Well, maybe someone's listening and they'll make this ship. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Are you listening up, Carnival? Exactly. Submarines and and, and lounge chairs. Lounge chairs that come out of the deck. <laughs> All right. Number nine. Getting towards the end. Okay. Number nine. What else you got? Um, all right. So after a long day of 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 playing in the beach yeah. and having sand everywhere. I want a nice gigantic shower. Huge. Oh my. In huge your cabin? shower in my cabin with 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 uh, nozzles everywhere, spraying everything. <laughs> so you could just get in, soap up and everything. <laughs> so it's not just like a little right. And there's shower. no shower curtain that hugs your butt as you turn. That's right. We I wanna, all hate that. <laughs> that's what I, I I would love to see a giant shower on my cruise ship. Well, I can invite. We can stay yeah. in our swimwear and we can invite people over. We can all enjoy the shower. That's that big. Stay in wow. your swimwear, please. If I do invite you over. <laughs> all right, and okay, finally, ten. The most important thing. I I have a feeling <laughs> I know what this is because he hasn't said it in, in one through nine. 
And he says this on every single cruise. What, oh, cookies. Yep, that's it. Cookies. 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 <laughs> cookies. Cookies. Everywhere. I want cookie stations all over the place. What was the ship? I think it was NCL Getaway, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Where like there was like no cookies on the you like you couldn't find cookies anywhere. You had to you literally had to ask them for the cookies and they would like go in back and bring out a and, like, secret plate and give you like two like two books, cookies. I know. Two cookies. It was like gold. It was like some I secret know. thing. Anyway. That is it. but uh, with that since it's my cruise ship, yep. No raisins. No raisins allowed. No raisins, raisins allowed. <laughs> Every other kind of cookie. No raisins. Those are my that. ten. If you don't understand why, check out one of our princess cruises. You'll know why. Those are my ten things that would make a perfect cruise ship. Okay, but have you given us the name? No, I haven't. Okay, we're waiting till the end. Exactly. Okay. Because you build the ship and then you, well, usually they tell you the name, don't they, before they build it. <laughs> yeah, kind of. But that's and then okay. they tell you that's the right. person. But that's, that's right. My name. Are you ready for this? Right, oh, no. Sit down at home if you're not oh, sitting no. down. Turbo Laser Seal. That's the name of my ship. Turbo Laser Seal. Did your 13 year old self name this ship? <laughs> when I was 13. You couldn't get a more cool nickname than Turbo. That's okay. You throw in laser and it just it makes Turbo even better. And since oh. it's the ocean, I had to throw in something ocean. So I put seal. so I put seal. So I'm really, really, really curious to know who your god person oh, is. Oh <laughs> yes. I'm gonna scary. throw this picture up there. Are you guys ready for my god person since it's name? I Turbo can't, ra- I can't even lasers. Guess. You seal. don't even know the name of your ship. Turbo laser system. Since it's named Matt, here's my god person. That's right. Nitro from American Gladiators wow. would show up to break the bottle of champagne on the ship in his leotard and probably get into a few fights with people. Holding his little... Because Nitro was a bad mamma jamma on American Gladiators. <laughs> I wouldn't invite Turbo because there was a Turbo Why was it on American that- Gladiators. Because he wasn't as cool wasn't as, as Nitro. Cool. Okay. They should have given uh, Nitro the Turbo name and the Turbo the Nitro name. But gotcha. I wasn't the wow. producer. This is quite Friday a ship. Years. Yep. Quite a ship. My ship kind of went in a little bit different direction than that. So, But I love it. I there love it is. It. That would be a lot of fun. My 10 perfect ships. All right. So love we it. are halfway through. What's that mean, Beth? I think it means it's land loving time. All right. We teased you at the beginning. You ready? Here we go. Let's go. This is Tobacco Barn. Seventy-seven thousand square feet of antiques, oddities, and downright freaky finds. What is this? In fact, the building it's housed in is an antique itself. Over a century, Tobacco Barn was a tobacco auction house where buyers and sellers of the demon weed would come to exchange their wares. Today, we are playing a game simply who can come home with the weirdest little tallywhack. And each of us will pick their favorite and we'll see which one comes home with us.
right, our search is done. As usual, I found way more stuff than I wanted to. This is how much salt you need with you all the time. Some kind of demonic cardinal. Look at his face, and he's got a tail. He set Rum Runner, the tackiest glass in the world. And it's signed. That kind of matches our lifestyle. And the theme of our show. Exactly. I think you got the winner. I like that one, that's cute. All right, so you could spend a lifetime searching the nooks and crannies to find treasures here at the Antique Tobacco Barn. But for now, our time is up. We are headed back to the studio. But first, getting my tooth pulled. That was a real dentist chair. That was a little scary. <laughs> Wasn't that a fun place though? I love that place. We go you there get, so often. Yeah. You can find the weirdest, fun, best bargains. Exactly. So much fun. Whenever we have friends or family in town, we're like, we have to go to the Antique Tech Barn. Anyway, okay, what came home so with us? So our mascot has been sitting here the entire time. What? Yes, that's right. It was the Rum Runner glass. We had to have that. And it came with a recipe on the bottom. Yeah, don't turn it over right now. <laughs> no, I won't turn it over because we do have... A, painted, yeah. I think we showed them a little bit. For the yeah. Rum Runner. So it's already got the ice. It is Ooh, eight ounces of ice. we're drink live. Yes, we're going to okay. make the drink. So, I'm so sorry. I should have said that. Yeah. We're going to make the drink that's on here. We got the ingredients for this. Let's do it. So we have in the glass so far, we have eight ounces of ice and... Four, three-ish ounces of orange juice. Yep. What comes next? Next in it is three quarters-ish of an ounce <laughs> of? of spiced rum. All right. So we got that right here. The spiced rum. There we go. We have a quarter-ish ounce. More than that. A blackberry liqueur. This is beautiful. Can you see it? Oh, that looks so good. And so good. finally, a quarter-ish or a little bit more of cream de banana. We've never owned this before. We had to like go out and specially get this. Smells like banana. Look at that. Perfect. We haven't even not even rehearsed this. Okay, let me stir it. Stir it, for it you. up. Let's try this. This is called the rum runner. It looks good. And like oh, I said, you, this was. See? Go ahead. The nice color. Ooh. This was. Oh, you can actually see the little. Yep. Uh, there she little, is, the winch. The little winch on there now. This is my favorite drink on a cruise, and there, I got it for the first time on a in the crow's nest. Oh, really? Yes. That's so cool. I didn't know. So that. that's where that's why it kind of tied in, and why we had to end up getting this. When I saw it, I had to. I, I just think it's always like the perfect go-to drink. We're not huge drinkers. We don't know like fancy things, but Rum Runner's an easy thing. You can try it. Mm, it looks delicious. It smells so fruity. Oh my, that's delicious. Can I try? I love Rum Runners. That tastes, it brings back memories. Mm. How much you plan on drinking of that? I guess your half of the video is going to be quite Woo! exciting. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> How wrong? Uh, I mean, I think that blackberry uh, liqueur adds like a nice. Mm, that's delicious. It is good. I have Yummy. one more drink. So okay, so the last show we showed you our very first. Yes. Our first what? Our little first mascot, mascot that we got that we collected while we together were traveled, as married. Yeah. And this is our newest since we got it. You know this week so mm. kind of stains a little bit doesn't spill. it spill all right mm. before oh, it just delicious. gets turns into a video of them watching us drink drinks <laughs> i'm just gonna sit here and finish that <laughs> let's get to your 10 okay things that a we perfect cruise must have all right so this will give you guys a good idea how different our brains really are you know how Chris built his. I built mine a little bit different. So my number one, 2,500 passengers max. I agree. Not a mega ship. It's a nice size. You get in, on, off, quick, easy. You can always find lounge chairs. It's like I think it's a perfect number. 
I totally, no mega ship. No mega ship. We when we were on um hmm, was it NCL also? Was mm -hmm. it the getaway again? For our long three weeks. Yes, one? it yeah. was just packed. Mm -hmm. It was, was like over occupancy, I do believe. <laughs> It was over 4,000 people in that one, I think. And that's not even considered a mega ship anymore. But, exactly. And it yeah. was just, there was just so many people. There was yeah. too many people on yeah, there. Yeah, so I think 2,500 is a good, you have a really nice mix. Um, I don't think I say anywhere else, but um, it's going to be adults only uh, just because I ran out of room on my ship for um, any like kid pool or anything. Like, there's just no room. It's not that I don't want kids on the ship. There's just no room for them. A room for you kids. <laughs> Sorry. You're just taking up space on our cruise. Number two. No ship within a ship. So, I mean, now we're just going to have uh, balcony cabins. And what I love about uh, NCL has the solo inside. This is a picture. Sorry. Uh, sorry. This go. is a picture of their solo cabins. And so all the inside is going to be like these little solo cabins. And then they have a little, um, like a little gathering spot, a little lounge for the singles as well. So uh, it'd be a great place for, if you're, you know, single, you can go on there too. Did you yeah. know that the NCL had that? I because a lot of times I did, but I never see them like exactly because they're kind of tucked inside. They use you, they utilize that areas, uh, you know, that a yeah. lot of people don't book. Um, but a lot of times on other cruise lines, if you're single, you have to pay the double, you have to pay double the rate, right? For a double occupancy cabin, and, and that's no fun. And there are there's there's, there's some of us that don't want to put a ring on it, <laughs> okay. I don't know what that meant. <laughs> I don't know. But adults only ship have a lot of great place for uh, solo travelers and just maybe a couple suites, but just a nice balcony. No, like I, I get access to this and you don't get access to that. Nope. We all get access to the whole ship. That's right. Rise up. Rise up and okay. demand. <laughs> okay. Uh, I also, my number three is like the medallion or the band from Virgin. Uh, my damn picture of the band for Virgin Voyages, it's the same thing. So it's that RFID technology. Um, and Chris kind of went over that a lot. We both loved it. So I knew we were both going to have it. Uh, I kind of figured yeah. when I was right mine that that would be the one that we would cross it's over. On, it's so. out. Yeah. You don't, you don't know, signing checks <clears throat> for anything. You can be, you know, sitting anywhere on the ship and you can just order from the app, you know, hey, I want a rum runner and I'm sitting. You don't even have to say, I just want a rum uh, runner. And it just knows and where, they you're know at, where you're and at. And they bring you a rum runner. It's a great technology. Mm. I hope to see it in many more cruise lines. Exactly. Um, my next one. You may love carnival. You may hate carnival. Because people kind of have strong opinions of it across yeah. the board. But one thing they do fantastic is their entertainment. They're, I think, if I have it right, is they're called the Fun Squad. Yeah. But when they have a party, like, they have a party. Like, people show up. They're interactive. It is, it's, a, it's high energy. Um, I, I think they do the best out of all the other cruise lines. At they least really that we've do. have been on before. Um, that really like, uh, cause we've been on a cruise line. There was supposed to be a party and you get there and like, no one's really into it. We um, went on an what was the one that 80s cruise. That? Yeah. I gotta say the really quick of the yeah. 80s cruise. We went on an 80s cruise. So hyped. We, we bought 80s clothes. We were, we were into it. We mm -hmm. were like, yeah, that's going to be a bunch of great 80s music. Yep. Not one thing nope. on the cruise was 80s. Nope. And they build it as an 80s cruise. Yep. I won't say which did, line like, that is. We did the silent disco. They did the silent disco. You know, you're like this. And like no one was on the dance floor. This was on I was on MSC. You know? No one like was leading it. And I just think that Carnival does the best job about just bringing the fun. And so that is big because sure. the, um, this comes to my next, which the name of my ship 
Oh, wow. We're going to the name. You, you're I following to give you, I, a ve I'm very structured. So I kind of want to give you some general and now I'm going to give you the name and we're going to get some super specific. But you're following like what cruise lines do. They, the design, they start building it yep. and then they announce the name yep. and the, and then they announce the person that's going to be the godmother. Yep. All right. Yeah. What, well, what's your name? Okay. So my name for the cruise ship is the lively. Wow. It's like a synonym for fun. Yes. But it's like, you know, upbeat, a little sophisticated. So we're headed for a week on the lively. I don't know. I just thought that was fun. Yeah. Bring your. But actually, you know, what's funny is my godmother doesn't really match. Who's your godmother? <laughs> Should I throw I it up there now? too much. Okay. So my godmother. Because when you think of lively, you think of. <laughs> you know, I have Meryl Streep as my. <laughs> But let me tell you why I can justify that. So I was thinking like, and I'll get to this later, like food is really important for me. And I've like designed this whole thing for food. And um, I love uh, Julia Child and I she would be my godmother. Unfortunately, she's no longer with us. Uh, and then I love the movie Julia and Julia and okay. Meryl Streep played that. So that's kind of like my connection to Julia Child. Um, but Meryl Streep is great too. She's, I, gotcha. I love her. She's Fantastic. And I think she can be a lot of fun too. So, um, but yeah, she's my godmother. Right on the lively Meryl Streep. That's right. Okay. We're going to get a little bit more specific here. Yes. So uh, pool deck. Boom. I want three things on my pool deck. I want two amazing little pools. You can keep that up for, well, you can wait, whatever. In the middle of the pool deck is the lime and coconut because that's the best bar. I think it is so fun. It is, they have the, the lime and coconut drink. Remember yep. we had that on Wonder of the Seas? Yep. Delicious. Yep. It's just, it's, I love it. It's kind of like this fun mix of like a beach bar and a tiki bar. I don't know. It's really fun. Yep. I um, agree. So on my pool deck, I have two big pools with a uh, nice big, uh, the little water shelves, you know, so tons of people can get in the water. Lime and the coconut in the middle. What's on one side? Guy's Burger. Yep. I think that might be everyone's. What's on the other side? Shaq's uh, big Shaq's chicken. Shaq's big chicken. I have you got Shaq's big chicken. Yeah. Guys, burger, a bar, the pools. You don't need anything else. I think that everybody's favorite burger at sea is guys. I just read an article mm -hmm. where they said that the best burger at sea was on Princess. Really? Yes. And all the comments on it was, nope, it's guys. it's guys. I love guys. You haven't had a chance to try it yet. We're going to have to go on the Mardi Gras so you can try it. But that's my pool deck. Yep. See why I don't have room for any kids' pool? There's no room. <laughs> okay, okay, what's next? So this one I put a lot of thought into. So like Chris was saying, all include. I'm getting like all serious here. Chris was saying all inclusive. One thing that I stress about when we are going on a cruise is I got to get my dining reservations. I got to figure out what you, okay, this, all your dining is included. There's no specialty restaurants. Okay. But what I've designed is I actually even gave it a name, a concept for dining. What is it? It's called relaxed rotation. Wow. So there's no main dining room on this ship whatsoever. I have seven restaurants you're going to have an uh, early and a late dining. And when you book, you're just, you're just automatically assigned to a restaurant each night. So obviously everyone, you know, it's different, but, and you just go to each restaurant each night for your either morning or late or morning, your early or late dining. And then you get to experience every single restaurant. I like you that don't idea. Don't worry about dining reservation. You don't have to worry about any of that's already done for you. So I have a steakhouse. First of all, I don't really have any names for these because I think that would be going overboard. But there's a steakhouse. But there is a French restaurant called the French Chef. Boom. Because Julia Child, that was her, that was her uh, TV show. So that's like the French bistro. That's how I wanted to kind of tie in Julia Child. I don't have any other pictures for okay. that. Okay. Uh, I have an Italian Mediterranean restaurant. I have an English pub. I have a Japanese and Korean. I have a Southern Comfort uh -huh. and a California Coast Seafood. Right on. So you got like all kind, and you just you get to go to those. And on the menus, you can have some you know main dining room kind of things, chicken you know, salmon, whatever, then you'll have that dining room and then you'll have some upgrade options. So if you want that massive tomahawk steak or you want like the 36 pound lobster, you could pay extra for it. What about us that love tacos? Well, 
That's at lunch. You gotta do that at lunch. I, do I have a Mexican on there? No, you have uh, California. Oh, have coast like, what about seafood. Like, so um, maybe like uh, fish tacos. And yeah, stuff? that would yeah. be okay. I'm just petitioning your for your tacos ship aren't on my ship. Okay, because I love tacos. So you get that whole. Pr- you don't have to worry. You get to, you get to experience all the restaurants. I like that idea. And you don't have to pay. You don't have to worry about making reservations. You just show up. Um, we yeah. haven't been on Virgin yet, but Virgin kind That's of that's kind has of where I got that concept. Some for it. similar concept. Oh, it's not it rotating, have, right? No, it doesn't. But it doesn't have a main dining room. All of their restaurants are included. Um, yeah, so we're looking forward to going on Virgin oh, sometime when we do, when that, we do that. Yeah, yeah, but that's kind of the concept of yeah. no main dining room. You just everything's specialty, everything's included. Yeah. you know, if you want to pay extra, you can for a specialty like that. restaurant. Okay, so moving on to number eight, trivia games that actually give real prizes. What? <laughs> that's unacceptable. On cruises, after everybody has <laughs> spent all that money, you get we a, got a zip, ring. And we got a, a zipper pull. A zipper pull. But like, pull. how fun could you do, like, you could do, like, meet the captain. That wouldn't cost anything. <laughs> oh, the picture you... Well, hello. I understand that you won trivia. <laughs> Welcome aboard. You could win, like, a tour of the galley. What else did I have here? You can maybe win a meal upgrade or something, but there's like actual things that you could that win. you could win that, that really like wouldn't cost a lot of money. But exactly, it wouldn't cost the, the ship lo- the ship a lot of money to do. Yeah, yeah meeting the captain. Yeah. yeah, like we won the first trivia ever. What ship were we on? Wonder. Wonder, yes. It was like so exciting, and we got little zipper pulls. Not that the, not that you play to win, but anyway, it'd be fun to actually get something. Yeah, a little bit more interesting. Yes, it would. Okay, next. Yes. A dessert buffet every single night at midnight. Do you remember when cruise ships used to have midnight chocolate buffets? Those were fun. Weren't those the days? Those were so much fun because you would you at stay least stay up exactly. You <laughs> would like look forward to it. Yeah, I, that's what I did anyway. Yeah, I would. Well, do I have a picture? Did you? You show don't. It? Yeah, I do. Oh, right midnight. there. You do. Sorry, I'm so sorry. Well, that's yeah, a look fruit. at that. But like, have a chocolate. Have like. A crazy fun buffet at wow. midnight. You pulled that off of a Love Boat episode. Probably. You had to have. Probably. That's their bu- That's what their buffets look like. Listen, there aren't very many decent pictures of chocolate buffets anymore because they haven't had them in so long. I don't understand why they got rid of them. I really I know. don't. I mean, I Some understand. you look forward People to. People thought it was kind of cheesy, but boy, what? Yeah. If you're not out to have fun on your vacation, what are you out to have? What are you, what are you supposed to go on vacation and then like poo-poo everything? <laughs> Go to no, sleep anyway. at nine o'clock at night. Anyway, anyway, How are we I I agree. Those were we're we're way up there. We're getting close to forty minutes. Oh shoot! I'm gonna tell you my very last thing then. Okay. And this is like, um, I want to be able to like go to an island and spend two nights there, like three full days and two nights. Yes. So you can like get. I have a picture. Okay. So obviously this is Coco Cay, you know. Yeah. But whatever island, like you get to spend like you get to go there and. If you had fun snorkeling, you go back the next day and snorkel. Like you don't just spend a little bit of time and then go. You can maybe get off the ship early and see sunrise. We had the best time on MSC yes. at the yes, uh, yes. night party. Uh, there was a DJ on the beach and we were dancing they to were music dancing. and drink. It was like so fun. The light like, show. Yeah. But like stay there for like two nights. You have like three full days to explore and do whatever you want. That's that's my perfect ship. I agree. I I would I loved staying overnight out yeah. there, even though it kind of took away from like like sailing around. I would trade it off. For... Oh, of course. Yeah, you still sail and you go to another another port, you know, and have no, like I know, two days but I just mean sea, like you yeah. miss that night of sailing. So yeah, there's some people that love it. Hop but... off on an island and get your beach chair early, or hop in the ocean first thing in the morning, or have coffee on the beach. Like how fun exactly. would that be? Exactly. MSC, which I think it's coming up in our it's, next series because we up. just got off yeah. it not too long. Um, MSC, let us stay on the beach overnight. They make you come back at yeah. night at like midnight or one. MSC or something is one like of the that. only ships that overnights on their private island. Yeah. And yeah, we wish we could have got off the ship. A little that would have been fun to just yeah. stay out there till so, four o'clock in the morning or see the sunrise. Exactly. So anyway, that's my ship. Hey, cheers! To cheers that. to the perfect ships. 
Thank my you. turbo laser seal. What did I call mine? Oh, and the lively. The lively. Adults only. Anyway, thank you guys for joining is us. I it? hope you had fun. It is. Okay, time to that go. That is it. Yes, we we'll are now past 40 minutes. Ah, I would look forward to doing the next show for you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. Thanks for joining us. We had a lot of fun. Nice, next time when the mic is on. Yep. Good night. Bye.